yesterday's fiasco and snowshoe fail, we decided to come higher today. So we are at the top of Rigi's second peak, which is called Rigi Scheidegg, or Rigi Watershed, if you remember from an earlier video when I explained the meaning of the word Scheidegg. And uh, we just came up a cable car back here from a stop called Crable. So I'm just going to spin you around. This is a little bit over from where we were last week in Stowe's, but you might recognize some of the same peaks behind me in the distance. So we're going to do a four to six kilometer snowshoe with a lunch stop. It should be a nice day, plenty of snow on the ground. Good start. So I'm at the top of Rigi Scheidegg and a few little geography things here. So that right there is the top of Rigi. That lake down there is Zugersee. And then looking this way, just over this ridge is the town of Zug. And then if you look off into the distance over the next ridge, you'll see a lot of buildings. That's actually the far side of Zurichsee, which you cannot see because it's uh, too low down in the valley down there. And then uh, I'm going to spin you around this way, looking towards the higher Alps in Schwitz. And then we'll go look at the other side of the mountain where you can see down towards Luzern. So off to the left side, behind the branches of the tree are Kleiner and Grusser Mythen, which you could see from our video last week at Stowe's. And then I'm going to spin you around here, and down there is Vierwaldstadersee, which is uh, also known as Lake Luzern. And there's all the mountains over that way, quite beautiful out today. And then I'll give you a glimpse at this little diagram showing the names of the different peaks in the area. This is the Schwitz section of the Alps. Now that's a nice view of the Mythens over there. And a little ice down below still. And then looking over this way is where the cable car was that we took up last week towards Stoes. We made it to Rigi Berggeist where we're going to have a leisurely lunch with a view. Not bad. The schnee is very slushy and it's very thin in places. I think we're going to need another storm if the ski season is going to continue through the rest of February and March. We're making our way up the steep grade back to the start here on the Rundweg. And out in the distance there, that very craggy peak is Pilatus, which is another one of the famous peaks around here. Very popular for taking the uh, Lutzelbahn to the top in the summer and then coming down hiking. I would actually prefer to do it the other way though. Well, that was a ton of fun. Super easy, super chill, really nice warm afternoon, about 11 degrees. We did a little over four kilometers, maybe five kilometers. And now we're gonna go back down the tram to the train and head home. This will probably be the last time we come out with our snowshoes, uh, unless we get substantially more snow. Uh, probably we'll switch over to winter hiking for a while after this. Interesting.